mm, mm, mm. Hmm. Look, it's not that I think everything is hunky dory, you know. It's, I mean, there are some conspiracies that I, I will accept, like, like the oil companies working together to jack up the prices. But the stuff you're talking about, <laughs> science fiction shit. <laughs> I mean, pretty soon everything is a conspiracy. The, you know, the food's contaminated, the water's poison, the, uh, the money's fake. Do you know what the Federal Reserve is? It's a branch of the government that, uh, that prints the money. Whoa, 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 you're gonna tell me that the money's fake? <laughs> <laughs> no, the money is quite real. But it's not printed by a government. It's printed by a private bank. No, you lost me. Didn't you just ask me about the Federal Reserve? Which is a private bank. So what's your point? The Federal Reserve, a private bank, just like Chase or Citibank, prints the money and loans it to our government. Like any other bank, they set the interest rates. In this case, $9 per every dollar printed. That's nuts! Why would our government agree to that? I mean, at that rate, the, the debt would balloon so much that the that the country would end up being run by the bank. What's, what's the point of that? Well, for one thing, it would do away with that pesky democracy with all of its checks and balances that keep the wealthy from having complete control. Did you know there were two American presidents who tried to reform the banking system? No, who? Lincoln and JFK. Now you tell me, what do these two men have in common? Oh, man, I don't know. These, these, these things you're saying, is there proof for any of it? All around us, Steve, my man. It's just a matter of perspective, because most of these things aren't even hidden. For instance, Skull and Bones, that secret Yale fraternity that's got the likes of George W. Bush and John Kerry sworn to silence. Now, is it a training ground for the wealthy to learn how to divide the world up amongst one another? A lot of these theories are strange, yes. But some of them are documented and well known. I just, I mean, I, get, I guess I have thought about all of these things before in the, in the back of my head, but I can't accept them. I, I won't accept them. I, I won't allow them to be the truth. You can't suppress the truth, man. Eventually it will come out. No, see, that, that's where you're wrong. I can't hide the truth from myself. You see, I don't want to live in a world where the government is tracking me with satellites, or where big businesses are playing chess with people to jockey for power. I want to save that for the movies. In my world, I want a country that's secure and keeps me safe. And I want a discount store that I can shop in guilt-free. Well, you have plenty of company. Billions of people with their eyes shut tight, pretending that there is no matrix. The only problem is the machine rolls merrily on while well, you pretend it isn't there, and eventually it's going to roll right over you. <laughs> Why don't we just relax, huh? You know, here, uh, have ourselves some cake. Huh? No processed foods, remember? Oh, come on. You only live once, right? Wow. That's a matter of opinion. Really?